Hi, I'm John Batterman. This is Trailers from Hell. I'm going to talk to you about Woody Allen's first film, What's Up, Tiger Lily, which is a movie that came about in a really intriguing way. It's so strange that only Woody Allen could be connected with it. You see, back in the 1960s, when spy movies were starting to become all the rage because of the Bond pictures, everybody was out to imitate the Bond pictures and make their own spy movies. But American International Pictures, which was known for being the cheapest studio in town, figured they didn't have to make a movie. They'd just go out and rip something off. They bought two Japanese movies, took them out to preview, and realized that they were getting the wrong kind of reaction. Everybody's laughing hysterically, but at the movies and not with them. So the producer, Henry Saperstein, had an epiphany. He said, well, let's make it a comedy. Now, Woody Allen at that time was known for his one-liners. He hadn't made a film, but he was known as a very funny guy who was on uh, the various late night talk shows and so on. And they hired him to come in. So he and his future wife, Louise Lasser, they holed up in the Stanhope Hotel in New York City and wrote jokes for days. They'd just keep running the movie over and over again, bring in friends and they'd make up jokes. And then they went and they dubbed this in to the two movies. They actually took the two movies and spliced them together to make one single movie with a brand new plot that was never planned in either, either movie. Oh, oh, danger's my bread and death is my bread. No, no, wait, danger's my bread. Death, no death. Now, you might notice that there's credit given for The Love and Spoonful. The producer thought the movie was too short, so he hired The Love and Spoonful to come in and do two songs, full length, three minutes apiece, and he just plopped them down in the movie at, you know, I guess he just kind of threw it at the reels and wherever it fell, that's where it went. And when Woody Allen saw it, he just got really angry and took them to court. Only when the critics started saying how hysterical this movie was, then Woody Allen kind of eased up and it kind of established him as a new filmmaker, a new hot filmmaker to watch and gives you a hint of the kind of humor that would be coming from him in Bananas and Take the Money and Run in the future. So uh, if you watch this trailer, you'll have no idea of anything that I've just told you uh, because there are no jokes in here. It's like they didn't know how to sell it. They didn't know what to do with it. And suddenly you're just left uh, totally baffled. So if you want to know how funny this movie is, you have to go see it.